If you're wanting to start and grow an online digital business, here's what you need. First, obviously you will need a background in business, marketing, and graphic design. You will also need a fancy smancy computer, and most importantly, you will need to wear glasses because, well, it makes you look smart. All jokes aside, you can get started with a few simple tools. Tool number one, a basic laptop. You could get away with using a tablet, maybe even a smartphone, but I think it's worth splurging even a couple hundred dollars to get you started. Small tip, don't get a laptop just because of the name brand. My laptop is technically a gaming PC, and because of that, I paid way less than you would have for a MacBook, and I have way more storage and more. Tool number two, some sort of graphic design platform. My recommendation is Canva, especially if you're just starting out. You can sign up for their free version, which is great when you're just getting started. But once you're ready to invest back into your business, I do recommend upgrading to their pro version for only $12.95 per month. This is an affordable way to up your game and open up way more features. And if you're even a little bit interested in trying out their pro version, there is a link for a 30-day free trial for their pro version in the description. Tool number three, you need some sort of project management system. I recommend Asana. Sure, you could use pen and paper, but if you're truly wanting to take your business seriously, I recommend getting organized now by using an online system. I use Asana to organize and plan everything, and I mean everything. This is where I plan my social media content, like the video you're watching now. It's also where I store all of my details about my business, like colors, fonts, hashtags, descriptions, etc. That way in the future, if I ever do hire somebody, all of the information they need is right here. I even use Asana for my personal life. Exercise, cleaning, groceries, doctor appointments, birthdays, you name it. Oh, and did I mention that it's free? Sure, you can upgrade for their paid plan, but I haven't even made that jump yet, so you definitely don't need to either. Tool number four, you need an email specific to your business. Now, you could start with a free Gmail account, that's what I did, but honestly, if I could go back, I would shell out for the Google Workspace Business Starter Package. It's only $6 a month, and this would immediately make people take your business more seriously. For example, I started out with shelbykreader at gmail.com, but once I was ready, I signed up for Google Workspace and locked down hello at shelbykeyreader.com. Because of making this transition, I am forced balancing both emails and slowly moving all of my contacts and subscriptions, etc., to my new email, and that's kind of a pain. Another benefit of having a business email through Google Workspace is that it actually helps with your Asana account. So with Asana, you can sign up with any type of email, but if you want access to creating teams, which really just means all of the separate categories, for for me, I have executive, operations, products and services, etc. You will have to have a business email account to be able to unlock those features. Tool number five, if you are planning on selling anything, obviously you need some sort of e-commerce platform to sell your product. Etsy is the perfect place to start. They charge you around 20 cents per listing every four months, and they also take a transaction fee of about 5% per product you list. But in return, they give you an easy to build shop and access to their 81.9 million buyers that purchase goods through the Etsy ecosystem in 2020. Now you can also create your own e-commerce website. I use Squarespace and I can't recommend it enough. Squarespace makes it so simple to build a website with their easy to use templates, even for beginners, but the basic commerce Squarespace package is around $35 a month. That is why if you're just starting out, you might want to try something like Etsy. Because if you think about it, on top of the $35 per month, you also have to think of the marketing aspect of selling on your own website. You can hype up the SEO on your website, but you'll definitely need to be doing some sort of outside marketing to get traffic to your website and products. Whereas with Etsy, you have access to their audience and it is easier to get traffic. I hope to be launching my own product products soon on my website and when I do, I will walk you through the process and we can also test out some marketing tactics as well. Tool number six, you need some sort of bookkeeping system. I know it's a yawn to talk about accounting, but you should establish this even
even if you're not really bringing in an income and if you don't have a lot of expenses. Because if all of your dreams come true and one of your products blows up, you want to be prepared. You don't have to use the tool I'm going to recommend. You can start with something like Google Sheets, but once you are ready, I do recommend QuickBooks. Seriously, I know there's a lot of different options out there, but QuickBooks is so, so easy to use. They not only have their desktop version, but there's also an app. So it makes it so simple to review your transactions, which I recommend that you do weekly. I was also able to connect my CPA, which is my accountant, as a user so she can go in there quarterly to check everything out to help me with my quarterly taxes. Big tip, don't start out with the self-employed package. That is an option and something actually I started with, but after meeting with my CPA, I soon learned I should have started with the Simple Start package. It makes it so much easier to upgrade as your business grows, whereas with the self-employed package, you can't keep upgrading. So definitely don't start with that. Look into the Simple Start package. If you're kind of curious and you want to check out QuickBooks, you can get the first 30 days for free using the link in the description. Now I use a lot of other tools for my business as well, and you can check all of those out at shelbykreader.com slash favorite tools. But I definitely feel like these are the top six tools you need when starting a digital product business. Before heading over to my website and checking out the other tools I recommend, maybe watch this video here about the different products you can create on Canva to sell in your digital product business. And if you have any recommendations of videos that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.